Happy corn, honey. What's popping? Did you miss me? Hmm. Because hmm. I missed your motherfucking ass. Listen, honey. Hey, boo. Hey, this is first time viewing my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time viewing my channel, look out, okay? I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depend on what the hell this lick read. But oh, I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right damn now to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm a cuss. This is my shit, all right? Thank you for the subscribes, the likes, the comments, the donations, you guys, the reading requests, all of your love, the emails, just checking in. I truly appreciate that from the most humblest place ever. Thank you, my babies. Thank you. Also, if you're new to the family, welcome to the family. Y'all, we're a little dysfunctional, okay? <laughs> we don't fight and fuss. However, we leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we cuss, okay? We cuss, we share, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten, okay? Sometimes we cry together, all right? Positive vibes only, positive type things. We family, all right? Also, to the returning subscribers, my family, yeah. Honey, I miss y'all. Listen, if you... um. Are needing a personal reading at this time that information will eventually be, be found in the damn description box below okay also um this reading ain't finna resonate with every damn capricorn take what does leave the rest all right if that motherfucker shoe is too big yes it's gonna fall so i'm be trying to put on the shoe that's for another motherfucker don't don't do that all right yeah it's gonna fall that's on period gang all right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it this will be a um a quick energy re i'm calling it a quick energy Okay, check in. Yeah, but they ain't been quick. <laughs> they haven't been quick enough. <laughs> I got a Libra rising, and sometimes it comes about. And I've been sitting here saying for so long that I uh, that my Mercury was in Gemini. My Mercury in Aries. So that's probably why I be talking shit. I be triggering y'all, but y'all love me for it and shit. Y'all hate me next week. You love me this week. You get what I'm It's okay. I'm okay with it if you okay with it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, cool. I don't give a damn. All right? I'm in the space in my life. Well, the only thing that I can really do is truly just set goals and do the best I damn can, okay, to reach them, okay, to execute, do my damn part when it comes to executing what it is that I'm trying to do, all right? And I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this with you all because the energy that I'm getting from y'all is real, real familiar, okay? It's like why stress over the things in which you can't control. I definitely get this energy where maybe some of you all are feeling overwhelmed because everything's kind of coming in at once, but you guys are really holding on to positivity and you guys understand the greater, the, 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 like the big picture of every damn thing. So you're just being called, honestly, to keep your shit together, Capricorn, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And for some of y'all, the foundation of no fucks given is truly just to relax. <laughs> I'm learning to kick your motherfucking feet up. All right, just kick them up. Kick up Capricorn if you ain't been kicking your feet up. Kick them up. Some of y'all circulation issues, okay, could be of significance at this time. Respiratory issues, okay, but there's definitely a positive energy as it pertains to a restoration in health, okay. Two, 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 and four, four, four could be of significance, okay. I see a lot of balance being restored for you all, but for some of you all, some of y'all just could have recently gotten recently gotten out of a space of being in this in being in this temporary space of maybe like a seasonal depression, okay. And I say this because I kept getting like roller coaster ass energy from y'all, honestly. If we go up, <laughs> bitch, we come down. But bitch, we go back up. And then we come down. But bitch, we going up, okay? I kept getting this energy with you all of like roller coaster, okay? And understand that this too shall pass. But for some of you all, some of y'all, you're being called at this time not to be so damn prideful. I am hearing something that's significant to a gratitude journal. Maybe some of you all are needing to create a gratitude journal. This will also be a great time to create a vision board as well. But again, plan, strategize. Some of you guys are being called to be very methodical with how you're moving as it pertains to some type of investment, especially if this is having to do with property, okay, or pouring your money to pouring your money into fixing a property. For some of you all also, some of y'all could be on a damn fence because you don't want to be seen as too harsh when it comes to your children but something's going on with adult children okay i'm definitely picking up on this energy where there needs to be some type of order but also at the same time both parties have to be both parties have to be willing to compromise with one another um and and, and this someone feels as if they were like treated unfairly or something was unjust here okay capricorn this could be you some y'all could be dealing with another cardinal sign um 
Libra, Aries, Capricorn like yourself, Cancer, okay? But someone feels unjust in a situation or someone feels slighted due to the fact that I, I get this energy where something's being misinterpreted, like communication, effective communication where both parties are listening, not just to fucking respond or react but to receive and understand, okay? For some of you all, there is a lacking in you being able to do that with a particular individual within your environment, and I feel like it's causing some type of internal uh, internal stress, okay? For some of you all, or in just internal confusion, okay? Or internal chaos. I get this energy where some of you all may be suffering in silence, but because you're called to be so damn strong all the time, you just keep showing up, and people don't understand Capricorn is showing up, but Capricorn is halfway out they shit, showing up. And I get this energy where something needs to change. You guys, or some of y'all is being definitely pushed completely out of your comfort zone, especially in the realm of some type of housing situation. So this could be... Um this could be you learning about the process of, of how credit works. I'm literally hearing something about a first-time home buyer situation could be of significance. But I'm literally also hearing some type of program. So maybe some of you guys are, are needing to do your research in your community when it, or, or in your state or your city as it pertains to like... Um, rental assistance okay because i definitely see positive news coming back from that application i'm hearing application or maybe some of y'all is getting some type of um someone's rendering a damn decision all right but i definitely see some type of approval so if you put in some type of application uh for maybe rental assistance um this could even be maybe like utility assistance whatever this assistance is i do see help being available to some of y'all capricorn but some of y'all got y'all motherfucking nose up in the air as if like i, I get this energy of someone being humble and someone also on the other hand is being used is being is so used to giving that they have a hard time receiving even when you're in the motherfucking dire need to receive bitch kick your feet up thank you okay when the fuck for example I, i've learned that when we pray and we manifest okay or we align ourselves with endless opportunities okay limitless possibilities or even just we aligning ourselves with what it is that we want and what we're trying to manifest i've learned that god okay the universe all right your ancestors whatever it is that you believe or subscribe to okay i've learned that typically small blessings will come before the large ones just to see and test you to see if you're ready to really receive that i get this energy with some of you guys are in this place of no I don't need it I don't need it I don't need it but you need it okay you need it and it's spirits way of giving back to you and really re really kind of like realigning you with that energy and that flow of giving and receiving because some y'all is either holding on a little bit too tight okay and some y'all is just doing too much out here and what I mean by doing too much out here doesn't mean that you out here splurging your money but you're not making people accountable around you that be out here making bad decisions with money you just been playing the cleanup man and the cleanup woman when on the cool God your spirit guys your angels your ancestors okay the universe is calling you to be the medicine man the medicine woman where are you pouring your energy into Capricorn are you pouring your energy into the past? Some shit that already happened? Because for some of you all, there's a lot of reminiscent energy over what once was, okay? What used to be. And for some of y'all, you blaming somebody else for coming in the midst of what once was instead of taking accountability for the part that you play in the present. Or for, for some of y'all, this is someone else. Someone doesn't want to see accountability, which is why they can't fucking see change. Someone doesn't, someone doesn't want to embrace getting out of their comfort zone because it truly... It truly restricts the element of fucking control. At that point, it's the element of compromise, the element of flow, the element of understanding, the, ele the, the element of attaining information, wisdom, and shifting your perspective on how you see what the fuck is going on. Because understand that you are truly the fucking creator of your fucking circumstances or what's truly going on. Rather, what needs to be released? Rather, it's outdated thinking. Rather, it's one-sided way. Whether it's a one-sided way of being. Whether it's blaming somebody else for some shit that's not going right in your life when that's truly, you truly choose to self-sacrifice. Some of y'all got could have Pisces highly aspected or possibly Virgo highly aspected where you tend to overcompensate, okay? Overcompensate to try and get a person on your goddamn level. Well, how, how do you know that this person was meant to be aligned with your table? How do you know they had a seat at the table? Who told you that? It's getting real as it pertains to...
truly understanding that no one's responsible for anything that's going on in our lives but ourselves because I keep getting a lot of blame game Capricorn maybe some of you guys have somebody blaming you or why the hell they ain't make it to where they at blaming you or why the hell they ain't got to what they, they ain't manifested what the fuck they want to manifest may blaming you because they ain't stable but at the same time there's a lack of accountability a lack of understanding and for some of you all I'm hearing generational curses needing to be broken around the mother like the, the parental figure and the children as it pertains to respect morale beliefs but even even understanding one another broken family some of y'all is tired of the fucking chaos that is going on within your family but at the same time for some of you all I get this energy where maybe okay so I could be talking to like a matriarch maybe you inherited this position as being like the matriarch okay for some of you all you could be a mother okay maybe your mother was the person who in the family who kept every damn thing together all right but for some of you all, you're being given, you, you're being passed down a damn torch. And for some of y'all, you're like, how did I get here? <laughs> There's no Deborah Cox shit going on over here. I, did, I didn't ride the bus over here. How did I get here? But at the same time, it's understanding what needs to be done. You got here because God gave you that position of leadership over that damn family. Because you understand, you've sat back and you've observed. You've paid attention. You've become aware of particular cycles in your damn family that just is toxic as hell and needs to be broken. The trauma that lies and, and th that lies deep. For some of y'all, this have to do with sexual abuse, sexual trauma. For some of y'all, this have to do with just people just being completely nasty on the goddamn inside. They crabs in a bucket ass mentality. For some of y'all, this have to do with abandonment. Okay, addiction. There being a cycle of this and children being the one, you get what I'm saying? To bear the fucking ass end of the stick of this. And it's just creating a bunch of karmic ass cycles. So since you see the problem, it's like it's like God get God given, spirit given, okay? And universal given, because you understand how to create order. I'm also hearing something having to do with legacy wealth. So uh, financial freedom, property could be of significance. For those of you who are looking to move, I do get someone having to pay something prorated. So if you were looking to move possibly on the 1st of July, okay, this is for some of y'all. Some of y'all, because I got two messages with the move. If you was looking to move like on the 1st of July, for some of y'all, I don't get that. I actually get like the second week of July is going to be significant as it pertains to some type of movement. Because I get this energy with some of y'all is stressed out when it comes to like movement and every damn thing that you have to do. Don't try and do all of that shit in one day. Checklist, baby. <laughs> kick your, kick them up. <laughs> kick your motherfucking feet up. Capricorn, relax, okay? Purification, detoxification, the detoxification could be of significance at this time. Because I'm getting a lot of focus on... A lot of focus on visualizing, affirming, manifesting, but at the same time, it's like you already know what needs, what you want to do, but it's so much shit that needs to be done before you get to that point. And for some of you all, spirit is saying be open to delegating help, like asking, even if you're not asking. I feel like people are actually like open. People, you, you guys have a lot of support around you at this time, all right? I get this energy where, and even if you say, oh, no, I don't got no support, yes, the fuck you do. People who actually people who you talk to all the goddamn time, you so used to giving to them that you ain't even thought about asking them to help you. And spirit is putting them in a the position, has put them in a the position where they're able to help you. But for some of you all, this is a test to see if you're gonna get out of your own damn way, Cappies. Okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys. Also, I kept getting something about certifications, okay? This could be licensing certification, that could be a certification that could be of significance um, at this time. Some of you guys also could have to be, uh, okay, some of y'all could be trying to, like, organize some type of uh, situation with the school when it comes to a summer program, okay? Or maybe some of you guys are appealing a decision as it pertains to a child. I don't know what this is. Some of y'all, this could be court, okay? Some of y'all, this could be a custody battle, all right? For some of you all, this could have to do with benefits, all right? Especially if you have a child that is um, disabled or if you have a child that has some type of, like, um, chronic illness is what I'm hearing as well. Some of you guys, I'm also hearing non-profit organization or non-profits could be of significance. Licensing, trademark, okay, LLCs. Getting something copyrighted, protecting your brand, solidifying your content. For some of you all, you also could be creating some type of platform, um, as a, especially if you work in the realm of like beauty. 
beauty or fashion, okay? I'm also hearing mediography, maybe short films could be of significance. I'm hearing something about short, uh, short films with like deep interpretations. Maybe some of you all are teaching through your artwork. This could even be music as well. I'm also hearing engineering. Maybe some of you guys could be a music engineer, okay? Some of you guys also could be in this energy of regret because you didn't invest something. I'm literally hearing clean the money or someone's money is running low, all right? Also, I'm hearing you don't have to fear, you don't have to fear any, or you don't have to be in this position of feeling as if you need to constantly protect yourself from spell work. I'm literally hearing etheric, okay, ethereal chords. Ooh, that was, that hit me. <sighs> Oh, my heart shaker like a ton of bricks. Ethereal cords. Ethereal cords are being cut. Some of you all, someone no longer has access to you in the ethers. Some of you all, someone could have been projecting or sending like energies or entities to harm you or attempt to harm you while you were asleep. Maybe you protected from this BS. Some of y'all have galactic ancestors, okay? Some of y'all, you have incarnated many times, but you only, this may be your first incarnation actually on earth because they speak about like beings and shit like that. And, you know, they're not being um, no activity on other planets. And I'm going to just be very honest. OK, for those of you who got the eyes to see, the ears to hear and, and, and you have that remembrance of your of those past lives. And it's just naturally within your soul being you just have a knowing, you know, OK. I'm hearing something about reptilian spirits could be of significance, okay? Some of you guys also could be teachers of warfare. Some of you guys could also be teaching about, I'm hearing megaverse, multiverse. Some of you all are spiritual teachers, okay? Workshops, seminars, online courses could be of significance at this time. That is blessed, all right? I'm also hearing, okay, and I'm, I'm trying to work on saying blessed because y'all, the way my little super analytical little fucking mind works sometimes, I thought about the word blessed, right? And immediately, my eyes went to be blessed, okay? So I've been really trying to flip blessed into bliss, okay? So blessings, you guys are aligning with your blessings, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on something having to do so some of y'all need to set y'all down Some of y'all Capricorns need to put y'all foot down as it pertains to your adult children. This could be your adult children's children Okay, this could also have to do with finances or someone some of y'all feel the need to step in to help a child Or maybe you're gonna be called to make a decision on if you're gonna continue to help somebody with a child Because whoever this is you feel as if they make bad decisions or poor decisions Especially in the realm of money and relationships some of y'all is really worried about your grandbabies due to who it is that your, that your adult child um, happens to be in a relationship with, okay? Some of y'all are questioning, should you step in? I feel like Spirit is wanting you to know you are you are being called to step in, but step in by way of, like, you opening your doors. It's something having to do with, like, even if, but I feel like do so with boundaries. Some of y'all maybe, um, okay, so maybe your, your adult children could be asking you to come back and stay at this time, Capricorn. <laughs> Or your adult child is needing somewhere to stay. Maybe you and this child is bumping heads. Okay. I'm also hearing something having to do with health, health, lifestyle, life changes. Some of you guys are some of you guys are being called to cut something out of your diet. Or some of you all, I'm hearing overindulgence. Maybe some of you all are gonna have to stop drinking. Okay. I literally see I'm smelling a bunch of weed. So somebody smokes a lot of weed and it's not I'm hearing something about emphysema, okay, or respiratory issues. Some of you guys also maybe I'm, I'm hearing something about physical therapy as well. Some of you guys could be recovering from some type of accident. Some of y'all could also be appealing a decision uh, when it comes to unemployment or I'm also hearing social security. I'm also hearing extortion. Someone's home is being watched. Someone's being watched from... I'm hearing the pharmacy to the pharmacy to their home. Someone has pictures of someone. Some of you guys also... Um, could be working on to be working on behalf of someone who's incarcerated. I'm hearing someone was wrongfully incarcerated. Someone's getting out. <laughs> someone's getting released early due to some type of like legal technicality. Okay, I feel like this could even have to do with like 
Okay, what's, what's that movie, Madea? Well, with something as, as simple as like them not reading the Miranda rights or something like that. I get this energy with someone's getting released early due to some type of technicality. But I get the, okay. For whoever this person is, even if they were in a long-term relationship, some shit finna go haywire in their relationship, so they may need a place to stay, Capricorn. Okay? Y'all, it's been 20 minutes. Let's get into it. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Metatron, Messiah, please come forth. Allow me to be the vessel of truth, love, understanding, clarity, and healing for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you guys got progress, not perfection. Again, being methodical, but planning, organized. Didn't I tell y'all something having to do with you? I've learned not to set plans. I'm living life like Nike these days. Just do it because there's something having to do with being in the present moment. Maybe some of you guys have been thinking so much about the damn future that it's starting to cause like some of y'all. I'm seeing something about migraines. For those of you who are spiritualists or who work in the public eye, some of y'all need to actually like up your damn uh, your evil eye protection. Because I definitely get a lot of like projected energy. Capricorn, a lot of you guys are really in this energy of like experiencing a lot of sensitive emotions. Like there's this heightened sensitivity that you guys are experiencing right now. And for some of you all, it has to do with like DNA upgrades, okay? I'm literally hearing like, okay, ooh. I'm hearing crystalline DNA, crystalline, crystalline DNA. I'm also hearing something having to do with cosmic consciousness, cosmic awareness. Maybe some of you guys are coming into, or maybe you're sharing some type of cosmic consciousness or awareness or you're being called to, all right? I literally, I'm literally hearing you're infinitely rich, and so you don't have to focus about money in the, okay, so as above, so below. You don't have to focus about money in the physical because you're literally like a walking money magnet. Some of you all, affirmations, mudras, mantras could be of significance at this time as well. You guys got appetite, progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus on how far you've come and all that you've learned. For some of you all, again, that goes back to living in the past. Not all of you, but what used to be, what you used to do, what you, you listen, used to was the motherfucking rooster. How can we make plans, okay, to be in the present, to stay in the present, and take maybe possibly like past, I'll say past ambitions, past mindsets, past drive, to learn from the past in that way, and, and kind of like execute that within the present in order to create for the future because for some of you all you I get this energy with some of y'all is blaming someone else for how the fuck things are going in the motherfucking present some of y'all in the present is being called to get the fuck up from where you at and move okay so moving states and moving homes could be of significance all right I'm literally here in cancer season. So for those of you who are looking to move, get on it now because I definitely see positive news coming in in cancer season. And for some of you all, Leo season, if you are going through some type of eviction or anything to that extent, I keep hearing something about the Salvation Army. So, okay, so maybe some of y'all need to check in with the Salvation Army near you to get some type of assistance with uh, rental assistance, okay? I'm also hearing some type of rental assistance program. Um... Okay, so I'm here in three months. So some of y'all could have recently applied for this. You're being approved for three months. I'm also hearing something about the past or even the past three months. If the applications or the portal had closed on something, it's opening up for, for, for some of you. I don't know who needed to hear that, all right? You guys got Amber. Give it to God, honey. Things are being realigned on your behalf. Also, a rain, seeing a rainbow for some of y'all. Maybe some of y'all could be seeing rainbows. But I'm literally seeing seeing a rainbow could be significant or it's a reminder of God's promise. So I do, do get this energy. I'm hearing it ain't easy being chosen. It ain't easy being chosen. Someone could also be judging your beliefs some y'all could also be having somebody trying to snake your ass at work if you got a funny feeling that you need to watch somebody in the workplace or however it is that you get your money please don't fucking ignore your feeling especially if this person could be a mutable sign uh capricorn virgo um gemini pisces okay i feel like someone had to go to the drawing board as it pertains to taking something from you because they expected for you to either cut someone or cut something completely to fuck off so that you'll be vulnerable okay um capricorn watch your money someone for some of y'all it could be watching your home watching your packages some of y'all could also always catch somebody watching you or looking looking at your 
something about your packages if you work from home and you get things delivered or your products delivered to your home address somebody's watching your clocking your fucking packages baby watch your shit switch things up all right switch things up capricorn temporarily you guys got watermelon tourmaline stress reduction de-stress your mind kick them up <laughs> de-stress your mind body and schedule as you meet as you need to rest recharge and revive some of you guys also are needing your inner child you need to connect with your inner child in order to heal but also i'm here to forgive others and yourself some of you guys also i am hearing something about alternate timelines could be of significance as well as astral projection some y'all could actually be astral projecting into like whole nother other motherfucking galaxies and shit capricorn you guys also could actually be meeting or like encountering celestial entities or celestial beings. I'm literally hearing from alternate timelines and dimensions. Something having to do with the Arcturians could be of significance, okay? I'm also hearing the Orion Knights. Sister, this is for you. The Orion Knights, all right? Some of you guys could be seeing white birds, cranes could be of I just seen literally two white cranes just pass by me. I'm also, since I've been on the phone with y'all, I just seen this beautiful butterfly over here stalking my presence. And the ravens and the crows is outside okay also cardinal birds maybe some of you guys your ancestors are communicating with you through your through cardinal birds some of you guys also could be turning back to agriculture i'm hearing something about herb um, herbology or some type of herb class maybe you're going to want to invest in this or maybe you're teaching about the process um uh, the, uh, the, the the process the pro <laughs> ah, my words the benefits all right of holistic living because i just the p word it was just it was sending me, so I had to just switch it the fuck up. The benefits, okay, of holistic healing are practicing um, living a healthy lifestyle, fasting, juicing, okay, detoxification, or I'm also hearing something significant to a heavy metal cleanse, okay? I'm also hearing a Capricorn, something is acute, not chronic. Some of y'all, this could be having to do with some type of like digestive issue. Yeah, some of y'all are learning that you can't eat the same shit that you used to love. Something about caffeine could be of significant. Maybe some of you guys intake too much damn caffeine. Also, I do see someone having a positive influx in business, especially if you sell something or you present something online. I'm literally here and giving you your flowers, accolades, okay? Receiving um, recognition for your knowledge, for your wisdom, all right? I'm also hearing collaboration, sponsorships could be of significance brand ambassador i'm also hearing something about a clothing line or an online boutique also there being like positive progression especially as we get into leo season some of you guys could be designers some of you are also i am hearing some of y'all are needing to um educate yourself or maybe you're teaching this to other people because i'm getting a lot of teaching maybe some of y'all are educating yourself and whatever it is that you're learning you're learning it you're learning this you're learning this is not going to go into vain you're learning it honestly to teach it to other people i'm literally hearing within two to three years or something that you're doing or presenting online this could be a podcast i'm hearing something about consciousness or conscious creator protecting your intellectual property okay brand your shit because bitches be stealing all right if you were going to court for some type of like if you were going to court for something having to do with like copyright claims or something like that or some of y'all is being called to sue these bitches all right they stealing your shit take their ass to court all right we fight different pay me fuck you pay me bitch all right but some of you all are the catalyst to you, you, okay, some of y'all are the catalyst to some type of process or some type, something that needs to change. Or you're the catalyst to how justice is executed, as it, especially as it pertains to a community. All right? Something about the throat chakra is off. Okay, so it's Capricorn, maybe some of y'all don't, someone doesn't have the words or they don't know how to express themselves. Or maybe some of you are, the way that you express yourself could intimidate people. This is possibly why they evil on your ass. Some of y'all definitely do something on a public platform, okay? Let me see. You guys got ceremonies and celebrations, okay? Maybe some of you guys could be helping. Um, I'm hearing event coordination as well could be of significance, all right? Home design. Some of y'all could also be throwing shit away out your damn house or decluttering it. Or there's a, like something, some type of decluttering within your environment. Blue, green, pink, yellow could be very beneficial for you now whether it's crystals whether it's uh 
you wearing these colors okay candles i definitely get this energy where those colors could be of significance you guys got emerald ceremonies and celebrations it's a time of important life passages such as weddings birthdays graduations or anniversaries all right so for some of you all also okay so that could be the grieving for those of you who could have lost someone within the last two to three years okay or maybe like a, um this could be within the last two to three months my condolences go out to you i'm sending you guys so much healing love a whole lot of love restoration and to you and your family because you guys it's not easy losing someone i get this energy where again so that takes me back to who gave me this job i didn't want it some of you all are having to keep things together it's like everybody is relying on you and maybe you're finally having the time to grieve understand that healing has no expiration date baby allow yourself to heal kick them up capricorns real talk kick, kick them up all right for some of you are also there's a need for you to not to be so overly overly self-critical at this time allow yourself to truly like experience live being. I'm literally hearing the Joker. Why so serious? But for those of you who could have recently um, lost someone, I am getting something about the anniversary. This could be someone's birthday. All right. Get out and get you some sun. Journal if you have to. You can even, for those of you, I'm literally hearing something about um, a white candle. Okay. I'm also hearing something having to do with like planting. All right. Someone also is connecting with their mother figure every time they go out to tend to their garden. Your mother figures with you every time. I see a mother or a grandmother. A mother figure or a grandmother figure. Whoever this individual is, they got hot cheekbones. And they could have smoked cigarettes. This person is always... Okay, so, she, they, okay, so whoever this for, she did smoke cigarettes. But as she got older, she started experiencing things with her lungs. So she couldn't smoke cigarettes. Which is why she wants you to stop smoking all of them cigarettes. Something's hereditary. That's where you'll okay. Some of y'all been having stuff coming up missing, uh, moved in your home. You got a mama or a grandmother that like is on your ass like flies on shit. This person, they used to tell you when you were a child, I don't want you to be like me. I want you to be better than me. Okay. Also, this person may be revealing some type of like underhanded ass uh behavior, especially as it pertains to um paperwork or documentation within the family it's like you are being called to be the whistleblower or the pretty much you illuminating some shit gives this person justice to truly be able to just rest in peace because for whoever this is nobody lets this person rest in peace it's always somebody bringing up some shit but they're not doing anything about fixing the problem people someone knows how to fix the problem but they're not doing anything about fixing the problem i'm hearing there's a mother figure that is like really not happy when it comes to her family and how much division has become of her family since she's been passed away because whoever this is this mother figure kept everybody at her house every weekend all right let's get this give me some um whew. this mother figure could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius I ain't finna cry, Capricorn. I was finna cry because that one, that one hit hard, okay? This mother figure could also be an earth sign like yourself, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right. I'm also hearing, do you believe in magic? For some of you all, if you've been doing some type of, you've been burning your petitions, if you've been um, um, doing some type of moon rituals, okay? This could even be energy cord cutting. For some of you all, you need not question your magic. You need not question your ability, okay? In order to um, call things to you or align what it is that, whatever it is that you're trying, align with whatever it is that you're trying to bring into fruition. Give me um, some messages. Give me like three messages for Capricorn and love. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. The Cross Watchers also... Um, some of y'all need to watch a stepfather or if you're recently dating someone Capricorn and you met this person online, especially if this person lives long distance, some of y'all need to do a damn criminal background check on somebody because you would, yeah, I do see something about some like somebody, I get pedophilia vibes, especially if this individual is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you need to watch them around your teenage children. All right. Some of y'all have a teenage daughter. You need to watch this person. And even if they're not touching the child, it's something having to do, something's perverse. Someone's perverse in the mind, okay? Some of y'all also, um, 
some of y'all is being protected from connecting with possibly an earth sign or a water sign. This person has some type of incubus spirit connected to them. I'm hearing it's tearing them up, okay? Or it's, it's, the, it's oh, it's demolishing them from the, it's, it's like literally demolishing them from the fucking inside out, all right? Their insides are deteriorating. For some of y'all, this is someone's karma. There's a masculine energy being humbled for trying to emotionally and spiritually abuse you. Mm. You guys got, hold up, wait a minute, breathe, patience, slow down. Some of you guys really need to take a damn self-care day, okay? As it pertains to relationships, I get this energy where if you think that someone's moving too fast, I'm literally hearing ulterior motives. So someone could definitely have some type of ulterior motives, which is why they're wanting to like come back. I'm hearing come back for some of y'all. So come back and move things so damn quickly. Someone's really needing a place. Someone's looking to you for stability, Capricorn. And I feel like instead of like, this could be somebody like love bombing you, um, somebody gaslighting you based on your damn desires this person know what you want but as long as they damn drag their feet it's like promising somebody the motherfucking moon and the stars baby as long as you can motherfucking look up and see them then the next day fucking breeds another opportunity you hear me listen somebody's playing with you this is space age pimping here okay for some of you are also mm, i'm hearing don't make long-term decisions based off of temporary emotions. Some of you all feel that someone could be more supportive, all right? And some of y'all are accepting the fact that the more you progress, the more someone the more you're being disconnected with someone because you guys aren't on a, you guys aren't on the same damn frequency. Understand that everybody have their own unique path and you know the, their own unique path and challenges on their path. But for some of you all, there needs to definitely be some type of forgiveness cuz this could have to do with someone maybe affecting your health, all right? Or some of y'all someone could be love bumming you or Expecting for you to stay around due to some type of health issue. All right. You guys got who is it that you're looking for? Affirmations, intentions, prayers. Okay. This is a great time to motherfucking focus on the focus during this time. It's like for some of you all, you can set goals, but you're being called to set goals, not just make plans. Instead, make a damn checklist or a to-do list. And every fucking day, as long as you're executing something, again, progress, not perfection. As long as you're working and you know that you're doing the best that you can, baby, you can't be so damn hard on yourself, okay? Some of y'all watching too many damn tarot readings is stressing you the fuck out, all right? It's energetically draining you. And when you, as you, when you look the fuck up, half of the damn day that went by and you ain't done a damn thing. Really, again, who is it that you're looking for? Because what the hell is the tea going on with everybody else? And, and, and what's their karma and all of that shit there? It's not beneficial to your growth. And I don't know who needed to hear that, but it's, it's not beneficial to your growth. Especially if this is a, regarding someone who you have a child with and maybe this person like moved on and maybe they don't take care of their children. I'm hearing some type of like, some type of... um settled resentment okay or some type of um harbored resentment is truly causing like you guys to block your blessings okay for some of y'all this could be for a capricorn um masculine energy yeah you guys gotta stop and smell the roses attraction gratitude in the presence i told you guys you are literally a money magnet at this time i'm literally hearing do less get more so for some of you all, instead of fucking feeling like more is best, okay? No, <laughs> less for more, okay? Less for more. You're receiving, some of you all, you're being blessed, or, I'm sorry, blessed, okay? For seeds in which you planted in the past. Also, something about, be careful how you speak to yourself. Words hold weight, words are spells, all right? Some of you guys also could be learning something about the human language or something having to do with like, um... Okay, now, hold on, God damn it! Some of y'all can literally be <laughs> tapping into, like, your past life gifts. I'm literally hearing pyro, uh, okay, pyro, pyrokinesis, cartomancy, necromancy. Some of y'all can have Sagittarius in your chart. Necromancy, telekinesis. Some of you guys also could be studying, like, the ancient languages as well. I'm hearing, uh, in de okay, decoding and encryption could be of significance. I'm also hearing something about billing, uh, billing codes, medical and billing. Some of y'all could be going to school or like graduating um, within the, I'm sorry, graduating from the health field, okay? 
are getting your degree in the health field. Congratulations, my baby. All right. No, you hang up. Some type of travel could be of significance as well. Or maybe you meeting someone online and talking to them long distance. But that, that's not... Okay, so for some of y'all, you need a damn background check. But for some of you all, this is about you being open to new experiences, y'all. Some type of travel is definitely significant. For some of y'all, this have to do with the travel as in a move to another city or state. Because I definitely feel like it's aligned with your love life and what it is that you're manifesting in love. And for some of you all also, this is actually aligned with someone who you're supposed to work with and build with as well. But I'm getting something about online communications or Dating apps could be of significance. You guys got no you hang up. Dating, meeting, talking, okay? Some of y'all could be getting back out there if you've been single for quite some time, all right? Some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all is, uh, some of y'all scared of outside. It's like, I, I don't know how to, okay, so when I say y'all scared of outside, some of y'all is scared of outside. It's like, you know you want to be outside, but it's like, it's cracks and it's holes in the ground outside. You get what I'm saying? It's like, some of you all are meeting someone who actually shares your morale, the same, the same morale, the same um, type of views as you do when, as it pertains to relationship. And it's truly a blessing. But some of you all may meet this person literally like online, some type of dating app is significant. Or maybe some of you guys could also be connecting with someone in some type of spiritual community as well. Also, some of you guys could also be planning a spiritual retreat um, in the month of June. Okay. Are hosting a spiritual retreat I literally I'm literally seeing like some type of forum or some of you guys could also be being recognized in some type of like um, online community I keep hearing TikTok. okay so maybe some of you guys are reaching some type of milestone okay or receiving some type of accolade for some type of wisdom or knowledge or something that you're teaching Capricorn I'm getting a lot of teaching vibes from you guys all right this could also be some type of online tutorials as well. I'm also hearing something about IT technician, okay, or IT tech or a, a maintenance guy, all right, or a maintenance, IT maintenance, software, maybe some of y'all could, somebody work, somebody's working on their own app. This could be a scheduling app. That shit gonna bust. Listen, whoever this is, send that shit to me when you get it, when you get it up and running. Send me the link, okay, little linky link. Let me see. You guys got self-reliance. Rely on the self. You guys are being you guys are being literally aligned with the road less travel. For some of you all, you have a very unorthodox life purpose. You are you have a very unconventional way of being. You were not created to be motherfucking. You weren't created Capricorn to be. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mediocre, bitch. Okay, you weren't created to be mediocre. Some of you all are having a hard time with making a decision for you, and also struggling mentally with trying to please somebody to be validated by the family or follow the damn family footsteps and that's not who who put me here i didn't want to be here but for some of y'all it simply have to do with you speaking up for your damn self and letting these people know how the hell you feel or for that matter showing them better than the fuck you can tell them but what we need not to do is worry worry not the advice here is to worry not all right joy definitely comes in the morning i get this energy where you guys again really 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 need to stay focused in the present some type of um some of you guys also are going to align with the right individual to assist you with your goal and executing something, especially if this has to do with like paperwork or some type of business investment. I'm hearing something about housing market. I'm also hearing something about a real estate license as well. For some of you all, also I'm hearing an auction license. Maybe some of you guys are wanting to sell cars or flip cars or flip homes. That's blessed, okay? I'm also seeing beware of like get rich, um, especially if for Capricorns. If you know that you have a parent that kind of stays at home all day, she don't go nowhere, or that he don't go nowhere, they just answer the phone all day. Be watch your parents when it comes to people them giving their damn information out to random telemarketers that fucking call. All right, again, didn't I tell y'all some y'all are gonna share some type of wisdom or transmute some type of negative energy into positive energy through your expression or some type of art in which you do? Okay, some of y'all just have to do with painting. I'm literally hearing allow your inner child, uh, allow your inner child to shine and thrive at this time Capricorn is going to bring you a lot of damn wealth but again you guys got to be focused on self-care and integration yoga could be of significance or some type of like um spiritual practices could also be of, I'm hearing something about Reiki healing as well maybe some of you guys are wanting to take a course all right or maybe you're getting some type of certification I'm also hearing something having to do with um massage therapy as well I'm also hearing something about a business grant some of y'all want to start to uh, uh, get some type of funding to start it, like a massage therapy um a massage therapy parlor 
or like a, a some type of spa. I'm literally here in spring of 2023. I heard baby steps. Right place, right time, right connections, orchestrated meetings, faded connections, okay? So you guys, you guys let me fucking know what the hell is up, all right? This message kind of felt like it was just very, really, really like simple pimple. I feel like spirit is really, uh, some of y'all doing too much, Capricorn. You just need to relax. You need to relax. It's other readers telling you. I can't tell you what other readers is telling you. I can tell you my guides told me to tell you, Capricorn. Relax. Because the Capricorns that's connected with me, it's a lot going on. And you can't, Rome was not built in the motherfucking day. America wasn't stolen today. You get what I'm saying? It's a process. They still fucking us generations later, bitch. It's a process. They set up whole processes to do this. Okay? So listen, relax. Day by day, step by step, but be open to receiving help. And when you receive the help, don't be standing over them micromanaging them. Oh, wow, why you do it like that? I don't, I don't do it like that. I, you know. But listen. This is um, <laughs> this is what I have for you all at this time. Y'all feel so damn giddy today. I've just been grinning since I've been up. <laughs> but you guys, <clears throat> this is what I have for you at this time. I pray that this message finds you in love and understanding, okay? Until next time, from your boo, from your mocha boo, a.k.a. as my Capricorn mother-in-law would say, the motherfucking hoodoo lady, okay? I'm just playing, y'all, but that's what she be saying, y'all. Listen, but... <laughs> I love y'all a long time. And until next time, you guys, bye-bye-bye.